Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're looking at a new Blue Jay firmware for our BL Heli S ESCs uh, that we can enable bi-directional D-shot and RPM filtering, hopefully to get longer flight times on our Mobula 6 or other Tiny Whoop. Since I've had the Mobula 6, uh, there's been one big drawback. Uh, this is the 25,000 kV version, and I was getting really short flight times. Um, sometimes under three minutes, um, I managed to get the tune in to where I was getting just at around three minutes. I've been running these Nitro Nectar Newbie Drone uh, 250 milliamp hour 1S packs, as well as I've got some Beta FPV 300 milliamp hour packs. Um, so just getting around, or just slightly over three minutes there. Um, but since I've flashed this new firmware, um, I've been getting about almost an additional minute, so almost four minutes of flight time there. And then um, I flashed this on my Mobula 7 and running um, two 1S packs, uh, running the Mobula 7 on 2S. Uh, I've been getting almost six minutes of flight time, so well over five minutes. So that's a pretty big deal. They do offer options for 24, 48, and 96 kilohertz. Um, I've been using the 96 kilohertz and it hasn't been giving me any issues there previously. I've tried flashing BL Heli M as well as Jazz Mavericks, um, but uh, I was getting desyncs and falling out of the air. So with this new firmware, uh, I haven't had any issues there and I'm gonna show you how to flash it. All right, let's go ahead and get to it there. You're gonna go ahead and plug your quad into your computer. Select the correct port. All right, and to flash any ESC firmware, you're gonna to have to connect a LiPo. Setup. All right, it's showing you the current firmware, which in this case is 16.71. And you're gonna note the ESC is OH5 in this case. Just make sure that you notate your correct ESC. Firmware, because if you flash the wrong firmware, you can burn up the ESC. Right, we're gonna choose flash all. We're going to go ahead and flash the latest which at this time of this video which is February 2021 uh, we're going to flash 0.10 and you're going to pick your PWM frequency so by default it's 24 kilohertz um, you can get longer flight times with 48 or 96 um, in this case let's choose 96 kilohertz and go ahead and hit flash And looks like uh, we're good. We can go ahead and disconnect. And as you tell, the startup tones are different this time uh, from uh, what they are on the BL Heli S firmware. All right. You can change the um, ESC uh, D-Shot sounds um, to a higher volume with the beep strength slider. Like I said, about 100, actually about 200, I believe. It's pretty hard to hear uh, on these smaller micros. I like to run my uh, motor timing at medium high, as suggested by the UAV Tech presets. Then all you gotta do is hit right setup. Uh, 
Okay, final step is we have to connect our Mogula to Betaflight and go ahead and set up our uh, bi-directional D-Shot and RPM filter. All right, you're going to want to go ahead and go into the configuration tab. All right, this is going to be an F4 processor, so you're going to go ahead and set up DSHOT 300. You're going to enable bi-directional DSHOT. And the smaller motors, the ADA 02s of the Mobile 6, are going to have 12 motor poles. <clears throat> Make sure you have that selected there. And then we're going to go into our PID tuning tab. And we're going to go ahead and check out our filter settings there. And I just have these set at default at 1. And that's working well for me. You can go ahead and go to your motors tab there. Alright, at this point we want to go ahead and plug in a LiPo. So we can make sure that we don't get any errors. All right, and as you see, we have zero percent errors. That means that uh, bidirectional D shot was enabled successfully there. All right, once you've got all that done. Make sure you hit save and reboot. And you're ready to do a test flight. Hope this video was helpful, guys. Um, and you can get longer flight times on your Mobula 6 or other Tiny Woo. This will also work on any BL Heli S compatible ESCs. Um, it's a fairly new firmware. Um, I'll post a link to get the Blue Jay configurator there in the video description there. If you're not already uh, subscribed, please do so. Like, comment, hit that notification bell so you'll get more updates to the channel. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.